but one passenger has been trying to make her way home for more than 12 hours. I'm joined by Ryan Gaudet uh, right now. Ryan, I said that right? You can hear me okay? Yeah, it's Ryan. Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Thank you for joining us. You are on a Via Rail train right now, on a moving Via Rail train going to Ottawa. Tell me a little bit about your journey so far and how you're feeling. Yeah, so my actually supposed to depart at 6.30 yesterday. Um, we got a text message uh, notifying us that it would be delayed till 9. We didn't board till 10 p.m. And ever since then, it's just been chaos. And we've been stopping. And at one point, we stopped for around three hours. And we just lack of communication with everyone on board. Um, it seems like the workers don't know exactly what's going on on the roads. We're not updated constantly. Um, however, everyone here is very supportive. We're finally, uh, as you can see, on our way to Gananakwe. Uh, it's been more than 12 hours, and I've been up since 7 a.m., oh. and I just want to get home to my family in Ottawa. Uh, Ryan, I want to ask you, what, what was your starting point on your trip, and how long was the trip supposed to take? It was supposed to take around five hours. I started in Toronto, um, and starting from there, it was just delayed, delayed. Um, we were told at one point that there was traffic, but then we later found out that the um, train in front of us had hit a tree. We eventually caught up to it, and we are now attached to that train. So now two trains have attached to each other, and we're moving together. Wow. What is it like on board, particularly during the points you had been stopped along the journey? Is there food provided? Are you warm? Has it been comfortable despite these circumstances? And are you going to make it home? I really hope I do. Um, we've been reassured that we are going to get to Ottawa eventually. Just uh, there's no estimated time of arrival, um, but everyone is in good spirits. However, there has been people who have been distressed, yeah. um, but I feel like everyone here is very supportive. Everyone has been chatting with each other. We've been getting to know our neighbors. We've been walking around. Um, the washrooms were not working. They were out of service for a while. Uh, I believe they've started up again, and I believe they are handing out sandwiches right now. But we were informed that they are low on food. Oh, man. Okay. So, Ryan, what has been, to this point, heading now into Saturday afternoon, Christmas Eve for many people who celebrate, uh, what is the total travel time that you've been on the train? I want to say it's been 14 hours now, probably a little more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ryan, yeah. we, we really appreciate you chatting with us en route on a Via Rail train to Ottawa. We hope you get there soon and that uh, you have a nice holiday or at least some time to rest with your family. Thank you for sharing this with us. And wow, what a challenge. Uh, stay warm, stay safe, and thank you for sharing your journey with us. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you everyone. As well. Yeah, thank you. Ryan Gaudet has been now, she says, 14 hours trying to make her way to Ottawa. But there have been some challenges along the way with these via rail delays due to the weather.